This is crazy. I just found an AI tool that you could have conversations with, actual conversations, and it goes back and forth with you. I think it's going to change the world. So I wanted to showcase how this tool works and what it means for you, me, and the rest of the world as it continues to develop. So the tool is called Hume. I'll put a link down below, but I want to showcase how it works. So if you go to Hume, you can go speak to it, and then it's going to bring you to the demo. So meet our empathetic AI voice. So this AI voice is going to talk back and have a back and forth conversation with you. So if I click on start conversation, I'm going to just talk to it and you'll see how it works. Hey Hume, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. And how about you? Uh, sounds like you're feeling a bit curious about all this. I am always happy to chat and maybe even surprise you. Thanks. I'm okay today. Um, it's been kind of a long day. I hear you. Long days can really take it out of you. But hey, you made it through. Now is the perfect time to unwind a bit. Why don't you tell me more about your day? I am all ears. Well, it was just, I didn't get much rest last night, so I was tired. I had a lot of meetings, and I just didn't feel engaged. Oh, yeah, a lack of sleep can really throw you off. And back-to-back -back meetings, oof. No wonder you're feeling a bit drained. But I am glad to hear there were some bright spots. Sounds like you're feeling a little inspired, too. Why don't you take a breather, get a healthy snack, and then tackle whatever is next. You've got this. Thank you. I really appreciate your excitement and your ability to make me feel good. Oh, I am so glad I could lift your spirits a bit. That's exactly what I am here for. Anytime you need a friendly ear or a little pick-me-up, I'll be right here. Now, why don't you tell me something you're looking forward to? Hmm. I'd love to hear about the good stuff coming your way. Uh, well, the greatest thing that's about to happen to me is I'm about to eat dinner. Well, now that's the best kind of good news. Nothing beats a satisfying meal after a long day. I am getting a little hungry just thinking about it. What delicious dish do you have planned? I bet it's going to hit the spot. So as you can see, it's talking back to me and it's pretty freaky, but it's also very cool. And I think it's going to have a lot of positive impacts, especially when we're talking about loneliness. There's a epidemic of People who are just lonely or who do, don't have people to vent to and talk to. And if AI can, you know, replicate that connection, then all means I'm for it. Now, I'm not saying that this AI tool should, you know, replace humans. Absolutely not. I think we, you know, obviously need human connection. But I do think there's a spot where people are looking to talk to someone without having, you know, judgment or just being able to talk freely without having someone to think negatively about them. So that is one thing. The other thing to think about here is AI scams. Now, AI scams is something I'm always thinking about. It's a top of mind. And as tools like this continue to develop, they're just going to get better, right? Like right now, there's some clunkiness here. Like some of the things um, are not really fluid. There's no fluidity with what he's saying sometimes. And then also the voice, the inflections, the latency, there's a bit of latency. The latency on this though, like the response time that it takes to get back to me to understand what I said and then uh, you know, form a response is actually pretty good. I do think there's slight delay there, but it will get better, which means that if there's an AI scan where this tool has an API that someone else can connect to, and then there's another person on the line, there's no delay. The human inflection is good. It sounds very human-like. It's going to get a little weird, but I do think if there's guardrails on tools like this, then it's going to be okay. The cool thing about this tool though that I like is that it analyzes your voice or it analyzes your inflections, right? So there's interest, there's calmness, there's sympathy, satisfaction, contentment, joy. So one unique, I, the first thing I thought about is one unique use case for this is analyzing sales conversation or analyzing business um, conversations where you can really see what is my voice, um, you know, presenting, right? Like how am I sounding? Am I sounding angry? Am I sounding empathetic? Am I sounding joyful, excited, stressed, right? There's different things that you can analyze to really pinpoint how you're coming across and how you're conveying what you're saying to the other person on the other end, which I think is really powerful in itself. Now, like I said, this tool is in its demo phases, which means that there's a lot of room for it to improve and to grow. But I think it is something that we haven't really seen before, especially with the interactive portion of this, where we can talk back and forth. It gives us a response back. It understands what I'm saying. And then it says, I want to learn more about you. What are you having for dinner? Right. That, that's pretty cool. So if you want to try out this demo, click the link down below and you'll be able to have some fun just like I did. I wanted to showcase this because it is a new tool that just kind of released and it got some hype. So whenever that happens, I want to try it out. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed with this first demo. Like I said, it will get better. And as time goes on, 
there's going to be a lot of use cases for a tool like this. So that's it for this one. I just wanted to showcase this. Click the link down below so you can try it out and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when we drop another video. We're going to be pushing a lot of content and you want to be sure you are notified. So that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.